Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Email me for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust Pearl Master. This is reference 86345SAJOR. It is a special handmade gem set piece, gem set inside and out, composed of Ever Rose Rose Gold, 39 millimeters in diameter. It's bigger than the standard Datejust. It's 11.5 millimeters thick. The lug to lug case measurement is 44.7 millimeters, but end link to end link. The total distance across the wrist is 51.1 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Pop open the clasp, throw the watch on the wrist. It is a wonderfully comfortable piece, but make no mistake, it is not a watch for the shy. This is an extravagant timepiece. Easy to wear and short across the wrist, very flat. It'll slide underneath the cuff, but when it ducks out from underneath your sleeve, it's going to draw stairs. It's just that kind of timepiece. If you have the personality to match, game on. I would recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. Taking a quick look at the Pearlmaster bracelet, you can see it's an unusual design, uh, not featured on other Rolex watches. It's not the Oyster, it's not the President, it's not the Jubilee. It has large individual links, and then the intermediates are completely gem set, which makes for a dramatic appearance and a contrast between the warm rose gold and the ice of the gems. Uh, Rolex makes its own cases and its own clasps and its own bracelets. It has its own foundry, it makes its own alloys, and it makes its own rose gold. They call this Ever Rose. It is darker, it is redder, because of the presence of more copper, and it is more resistant to fade due to the presence of more platinum. Rolex also does its own gem setting, and this is where the watch becomes handcrafted. Rolex gem setting is done in a special studio where traditional techniques are employed. It's the only part of Rolex watchmaking today that is entirely performed by hand. So these Rolex gem set watches are gem set the same way they would have been had Rolex existed in the 19th and 18th centuries. It's that kind of a handcrafted watch. As you can see, removable links, are fixed in place by screws, so the bracelet is built like a regular Rolex bracelet. We have a crown clasp, and you can see, just like the Rolex President, this bracelet features a crown clasp. The crown is the only hint as to where the bracelet breaks at the midpoint. There's a little beak and a hook system internally. You can see it's all polished. The beak and a hook system means you have to open and lift the lock to open it up. It's not a friction fit clasp. It's actually quite secure. The whole case is polished and handsome and tapered with compound curves and grace throughout. This is not the super case from the sports watches. We have a screw down twin lock crown in gold. You know it's a twin lock in gold because it has two dots. 100 meters of water resistance. We have an invisible setting for the sapphires in the bezel. And the only part of Rolex gem setting that's automated is scanning for color and clarity. There is a laser-based scanner that will make sure you get exactly the gradient from gem to gem so that you can transition from color to color as you move around the bezel. Also, it can be used to ensure that all of the diamonds on the dial, for example, have exactly the same color and clarity for the sake of consistency. So we have baguette cut sapphires, the real thing, not spinel, in the bezel. Then we have diamonds on the dial as well as on the intermediate links. Rose gold hands, rose gold crown, rose gold Roman numerals radially arrayed with a watchmaker for the dial base is made of gold and the gems are then set on top of that using conventional methodology that includes flames and torches and you can even see how they've been set in concentric circular patterns it's not a haphazard snow setting there is a distinct order to the way this dial has been gem set the watch has caliber 3235 internally a rolex manufacture movement we have hacking seconds we have a quick set date very little play in the hands when you operate these Rolex movements. A solid case back. Caliber 3235 is a bi-directional winder with a winding rotor that uses a ball bearing. 70 hour power reserve, stop seconds, quick set date, 4 hertz beat rate, 31 joules, COSC chronometer certified. Rolex then takes the chronometer certified movement, cases it up, tests it in six positions so that it will run no worse than minus 2 plus 2 seconds per day. That is the superlative chronometer standard. And it is exhaustive. You should also note that you get all of those features without 
not the typical tome written on the dial. This is as spare as it gets. Rolex Datejust. No extraneous advertising. You bought the watch. You don't need to know, for example, how water resistant it is or that it's automatic. The timepiece movement also includes shock resistance, courtesy of that winding rotor ball bearing, a full balance bridge for the balance, and a free sprung balance architecture. It has a Breguet over coil hairsprings that in any position the watch will keep consistent time. That's what the centered mass of a Breguet overcoil accomplishes. And the overcoil is made of a blue oxidized niobium zirconium anti-magnetic alloy. So this watch has it all. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.